So you want to look around and move the camera in the F123 game while driving without wearing VR glasses? I'll show you how. In this video, we're going to test out the Toby Eye Tracker 5 in the F123 game and test out its features to see if it's something worth for you. The Toby Eye Tracker can be used in games to look around using your eyes or your head or both at the same time. You can also use it to highlight certain parts of the HUD, for example in the F123 game. On top of that, it's possible to record where you're looking in real time through the Toby Ghost overlay. At the moment, the eye tracker supports over 160 games, including the F1 game and other simulation games like Star Citizen, The Division, and more. Now, I personally use the eye tracker to get more immersed into the F123 game in the cockpit cam, plus its unique Toby Ghost feature where viewers can actually see what I'm seeing while I'm live streaming. Check it out in action live on my Twitch. Now in the F1 game, you can utilize the head or eye tracking. As you can see right here, it's either eye tracking, looking to the left, looking to the right, or it is the head tracking. And then you can utilize your head to move around up, down. It's pretty impressive. Or you can even use both. So if I look to the left, it looks. But if I utilize my head as well, look, it goes so far. <laughs> All the way. It's pretty crazy. You can change the sensitivity a little bit right here and you have a clean UI, which basically means that the little HUD parts on your screen are gonna be disabled, but when you look at them, then they actually get enabled. Now, let me show you the eye tracking enabled with the clean UI as well around Monaco. And let me take you for a lap. Let's go, let's do it. All right, here we go then for one lap with the eye tracker enabled and having eye tracking uh, as our mode of, uh, of tracking here then. You can see the clean UI. If we look to the top left, it lights up. If we look at the top right, it lights up as well. And that is how the clean UI works. It is a clean UI, but when you look at it, it lights up so you can see it. So it doesn't actually uh, distract you as much while you're driving in a cockpit cam. However, you'll be able to see as we look to the inside, the uh, camera will move to the inside as well, especially over here. Look at that. We can see the rear mirror as well. And uh, of course, in that turn where it's a very, very sharp turn, you can see the most of it. However, now as we go to the middle part of the track, you'll be able to see in the next part that it's so intense being in the cockpit cam with the eye checker enabled as well because you're going to be able to get so close to the walls and you can literally feel it. Well, there you go. That's one of them. And here we go. One more. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So, so close. As we now get to uh, the infamous um, swimming pool section where you're going to get even closer and you'll be able to look through the corner a little bit here, which is great. We are currently green on our left time. You can see it on the top right. And as we go through the last and final turn, that is a lap with the eye tracker enabled at Monaco. I don't know how I did that, but we did it. <laughs> the device can also be used by streamers, like me, uh, to show exactly what you're looking at while live streaming. This is done through the Toby Ghost Twitch extension. By enabling this extension, live viewers can see exactly what I'm looking at, and they can actually customize whether they want to see a bubble or even a heat map looking at where I was looking at the most, or even completely change the colors of the bubble to their liking. You can now also control the Toby Ghost with an Elgato Stream Deck, which has one hit at the button, which I'll do right now. There we go. Boom. The eye tracker is gone. And then once you click it once again, boom, there you go. It is back right here. And you can even change profiles with the Elgato Stream Deck on the go. And this is especially handy when you're live streaming or creating a video. Toby Ghost Bubble can also be used as an overlay for a recording of your gameplay. You can then look back at it and analyze it on whether you've made the right choices and whether you've looked at the right places, and then you can improve from there. The installation is very, very easy. You just chuck the holder in the middle underneath your monitor, and then the eye checker will stick with a pre-applied magnet on that holder. The eye tracker actually uses infrared sensors to track your eye and head movement, so it does not matter if you're wearing glasses or if you're in a dark room or anything like that. Do keep in mind though that nothing should actually obstruct your line of sight, including your wheel. Obviously, the wheel could get in the way of the eye tracker like this. For my experience though, the eye tracking handles short interruptions due to the wheel obstruction actually quite well. Especially as I'm laying down right now on a formula style seat and when I'm turning the wheel, 
the line of sight is actually interrupted every now and then as well. When you hook up your Toby Eye Tracker to your PC, the Toby Experience app automatically installs. And in here, you can actually calibrate your eye tracker and you can even create a user profile or multiple of them, depending on how many people you want the eye tracker to use. You can also download the Toby Ghost app, which allows you to get the bubble on the screen or if you want to get the bubble on your Twitch stream, through the extension. Your stream will even pop in this little list right there if you're streaming using the extension. It's pretty <laughs> sick. <laughs> now let's put the eye tracker to the ultimate test, driving in a short race around Austria against other cars, looking around and battle them. Let's go, let's do it. All right, first try, first try. Here we go then, as we gotta get started right here. Look to the right hand side, we got Sergio Perez trying to fight us. What can we do around Austria as we get going right here? Get a good getaway, under the power. Lap one out of three, as you can see on the top right, we try and break as late as possible. Go all the way around the outside, we have people on the right hand side right there. We see Lance Troll in our mirrors, we can see one of the rebels as well, trying to go for the overtake. We use a little bit of the power. As we go up the inside, and we look to the left hand side, but watch out, we also need to look at the corner. Somebody on the inside there, and we're up in the P8. And now we need to close into Stroll and go for the overtake somewhere. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, it's gonna be close, it's gonna be close. Oi, oi, oi. That was very, very intense. But we are up at the P7. It's nice to have the clean UI and actually see it a little bit so you know something popped up. And then you're actually able to look when you really want to. I like this feature in the cockpit cam. Let's go for the overtake. He's right there on the right hand side. We leave him space. Oh, but he's still there. He's still there. We can see his little tire pop up. Oh, better exit. And that is P6. Beautiful. Oh, we're very low on battery, guys. <laughs> that is not great. To this day, guys, I have been using the eye tracker for about three to four years now. I think it's been 2019 I started using the eye tracker. And I still, driving like this, I still get amazed by how cool, how cool it is to just drive into cockpit cam and, and look around you. You know what I mean? It's so, so cool. Oh, one last overtake. Come on, come on, come on. Maybe on the inside, not quite. We were looking, though. We're not done yet. Come on! Come on! No! Just about. Hernando right, also hangs on, right. but what a fun race. It was only three laps, but man, oh man, I could do a flip in the 100% race right there. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the eye tracker working in a short three lap race and uh, looking around. Now, I can hear you asking, should I get an eye tracker to use in F1 23? I personally believe the eye tracker is an awesome device to get you more immersed into the racing, especially if you prefer to drive from the cockpit cam to be incredibly immersed. The extra Toby Ghost feature is also a really cool addition for live streamers and those who would like to analyze your gameplay to become better. Even while you're not moving the camera around in game, that could still be very useful. I, for example, don't always use the eye tracking feature in the game, but I do always use the Toby Ghost while I'm live streaming. When comparing the eye tracker to a virtual reality headset, the eye tracker is a lot more pleasant to use, especially for longer periods of times. It has a lot more of a natural feel, making it of course harder to become nauseous, which is a common occurrence with VR headsets, and the lack of glasses. So you're not gonna get tired, you're not gonna get sweaty because you're just doing what you're normally doing already as well, but they're just a little device tracking your eyes. It doesn't put any strain on you or at least not any more than you would already by driving. In a racing game, you also don't need 360 degrees of camera rotation as you would never, never look back in a race car like this, look to the back. You would never do that. Uh, and if you are, then you're doing something wrong. <laughs> the eye tracker gives more than enough view, left, right, top, and even bottom, to look around as you would in real life in a real race car. And I would know because I have driven a real life Formula One car. Which not a lot of people would be able to say. Lastly, the Toby Eye Tracker also uses minimal resources from the PC, which compared to a VR headset is very welcome. I mean, obviously, as a sim racer, you want to have as many FPS in the game. And uh, like this, it doesn't really impact the, uh, the frames per second as much. Now, if you're interested, there's a 15% flash discount at the moment for the Toby Eye Tracker 5. 
There's also a special campaign at the moment through Toby all the way through the 28th of July, where if you watch my Twitch streams, you're gonna be able to earn free game keys. Now, if you're interested in getting the eye tracker or getting free game keys, the links are in the description right now, which will support me as well. Now, I hope that was helpful. A big thanks to Toby for sponsoring this video and a big thanks to you for watching. Peace.